highlights of this one then. And that moment right there was enough to get the eye of race control for Brad Vaughan, given a five second penalty. Kai Allen won the lead down to turn one. And he held onto that lead for a very long time. Further back, Zane Morse is making some moves. That's to the inside of Job Stewart. Had a lot of race pace, but ended up finishing eighth in this one. Got to the inside of Jack Perkins as well. Jack fought back. They had a little bit of a, a rub down the front straight. Perkins into turn one, gets the nod, and then here comes Zane Morse using the bumpers to draw alongside him. Up through turns two and three, Jack Perkins wise enough to back out of that one. Zane Morse moving on through. Then the race changed with Ryan Gilroy's wheel falling off. And that would set off a chain of events. Would bring us to uh, beat the ultimate safety car. Racing once again, Zach Bates trying something a little spectacular behind Brad Vaughan and tick the car spat off down at turn one. I don't think I've ever seen a car hit the fence there at Wanneroo Raceway before. We've seen a lot of races here. Brad Vaughan wondering where it all went wrong. Now, this move for the race win. Yellows are waving at that point, right to the green then, so that's interesting. Was the overlap slightly early? Garth Tander did raise that question in commentary. But for now, let's just focus on Ryan Wood being first to the chequered flag and getting the job done here for Walkinshaw and Freddie United. 300 points. Congratulations to him and all the team on an amazing weekend.